how are we monitoring? Are we, in fact, monitoring? We can always say we're trying, but how effective is it? Well, you know, the, the monitoring system now is through social media. They, uh, uh, all, most of our uh, workers, there, they, they have TikTok, they have uh, Facebook. So they're able to contact their families here, all right? Uh, the family, therefore, has the uh, obligation if the worker was not, is not able to contact the recruitment agency directly, no? then the, work, the family goes to the agency to report this matter. Now, yung sinasabi ni Senator Joel Villeneuve, who was so very emotional about this, uh, you cannot monitor hundreds of uh, workers every day. Uh, assuming you're a deployment agency, a recruitment agency, which deployed Rana, 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 Ranara, Ranara, yes, sir. maybe they have deployed hundreds already in the past few years. Now, uh, there is supposed to be a monitoring system that's part of the rules issued by the PUA. There should be a monitoring system for them. But of course, uh, in fairness to the agency, you cannot monitor everybody every day. Kahit daw mga blacklist sila at masara yung recruitment agency, they can just easily change the business name and register yung iba daw nag-merge with other recruitment agencies at tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung operation. What, what do you say about that? That's my grand tech. Well, you know, if uh, the, the recruitment agencies, the license is canceled right now of, uh, of Catalyst, which is the, the recruitment agency, uh, you know, I'd like to say that almost half of the recruitment agency deploying household workers are Arab descent. Mm. So many of them are here. Uh, supposedly, there's only 25% controlling interest. But the truth is they're the ones controlling the recruitment agency. Now, if the license is canceled, what they will do is they will look for a dummy mm. or they will look for a very poor performing agency who's willing to serve the license and they will just incorporate or buy the ship so that agency. We've had, uh, in fairness, just a few months experience with this brand new department for migrant workers. What's your yes. assessment of this department so far? Has it, you know, has it found its footing? Uh, what's there to improve upon? And what would you say has been its uh, immediate impact? Well, I'm sorry to say it hasn't come down. It hasn't gone down to running. I mean, you know, when you jump into the business, you want it running, it's not. Unfortunately, uh, processing is still two to three months. Uh, you know, uh, the president said three weeks. Now it's still two to three months. There are some gremlins inside the office. Uh, so it's not working very well. And uh, sorry to say, and this, the head is not always around. It's always for the president, uh, globe trotting in the Philippines, around the world. So nothing is being done uh, towards, you know, we are asking what is the policy for overseas recruitment? This mm -hmm. is what I wrote uh, uh, two or three weeks ago. What is the policy? What, where, where is overseas recruitment headed for? But there are no policy statements yet. All it's, well, one problem after the other. So I hope that uh, by March, when the full full DMW is or organized, uh, I know it's difficult because they have some new people, but they still have some old people. So it's not running very well, to, be, to, to put it bluntly.